BlackFacts.com presents Caribbean Revolutionaries Busa Rebellion The Busa Rebellion was the largest slave revolt in the history of Barbados. The rebellion took its name from the African-born slave, Busa, who led the uprising. The Busa Rebellion was the first of the three major slave uprisings that took place in the British West Indies between the US that shook public faith in slavery in the years leading up to the abolition of slavery in the British Empire and emancipation of former slaves. It was followed by the Demerara Rebellion of 1823 and by the Baptist War in Jamaica in 1831-1832, these are often referred to as the Late Slave Rebellions. Busa was born a free man in West Africa of possible Nigerian descent and was captured by African merchants, sold to European slave traders and transported to Barbados in the late 18th century as a slave. Enslaved people began planning the revolt after the Barbadian House of Assembly discussed and rejected the Imperial Registry Bill in November 1815, which called for the registration of colonial slaves. Believing this registration would make their lives more difficult, enslaved people began to secretly meet in February to plan the uprising in April. The organization and leadership of the rebellion evolved on a number of sugar cane plantations, with each estate choosing its insurrection leader. The Simmons Plantation, one of the largest on the island, had three leaders, John Grigg, Nanny Grigg, and an enslaved person known only as Jackie. The Bailey Plantation uprising was led by four enslaved people, King Wiltshire, Dick Bailey, and enslaved men, Johnny and Busa. Busa worked as a ranger and head officer among the slaves on Bailey's Plantation in the parish of St. Philip around the time of the rebellion. This position would have given Busa more freedom of movement than the average slave and would have made it easier for him to plan and coordinate the rebellion. The planning and organization of the rebellion was accompanied by a propaganda campaign orchestrated by three free literate black men, Kane Davis, Roach, and Richard Sargent. The rebellion started on Easter Sunday night April 14, 1816. Busa, King Wiltshire, Dick Bailey and Johnny led the slaves into battle at Bailey's plantation on Tuesday, April 16. He commanded some 400 rebels, men and women, most of whom were believed to be Creole, born in the islands. In the first days of the rebellion, over 70 estates were affected, forcing white owners and overseers to flee to Bridgetown, the colonial capital, in panic. The rebellion was short-lived. Martial law was declared on April 15, 1816. It was suppressed by local militia and British imperial troops which ironically included slave soldiers. He was killed in battle, his forces continued the fight until they were defeated by superior firepower of the colonial militia. The rebellion failed but its influence was significant to the future of Barbados. In 1985, 169 years after his rebellion, the Busa Emancipation Statue, created by Carl Brudhagen, was unveiled in Haggett Hall, in the parish of St. Michael. In 1998, the Parliament of Barbados named Busa as one of the ten national heroes of Barbados. Learn more at blackfacts.com.